Welcome back, Sebastian here. So time for my review for qualifying for the 2023 US Grand Prix. So in Q1, really nice uh, sunny and warm conditions, uh, pretty much ideal weather for qualifying. And as we get into the first laps, uh, one of the big talking points from qualifying uh, shows up pretty early. So Sargent gets his lap deleted for track limits. Uh, then Hamilton on his first flying lap making lots of corrections on the steering wheel in turn one and in turn 19. Uh, the Mercedes looking like a bit of a handful to drive. So after the first runs in Q1, uh, Sargent, Stroll, Gasly, Joe, and Sainz were your bottom five uh, with Hulkenberg fastest thanks to track evolution. And uh, Gasly would go faster shortly thereafter just kind of highlighting how quickly the track was ramping up, especially with the lack of feeder series here. Uh, Red Bull then come on the radio to Verstappen telling him that he, they think his time is on the bubble for making it out of Q1. Uh, so he needs to be able to set a faster lap for his final run in Q1. Then we get to the final runs, not a lot of drama, no crashes or anything like that. But your five, your five drivers who are knocked out are Hulkenberg, Alonso, Albon Stroll, and Sargent. So both Aston Martins knocked out in Q1. Uh, Massive surprise, obviously, first time this year that Alonso has been knocked out in Q1. Uh, and really showing kind of how far off uh, they've fallen through development uh, compared to the start of the year. Uh, your top five after Q1, of course, meaningless, but still interesting to look at. Hamilton, Norris, Verstappen, Sainz, and Sonoda. In the Q2 we go, uh, and some drivers were starting the session on used softs. So uh, these lap times were not particularly representative. Uh, but still, the drivers have to manage what tires they have and what tires they use throughout the weekend. Uh, Norris gets his time deleted for track limits, and as a result, he finds himself in the bottom five after the first runs, along with Sainz, Joe, Magnussen, and Ricardo, while Verstappen was fastest. Uh, the second run of Q2, uh, Ferrari go 1-2 with their final runs, showing that they had some pretty good pace in there, but Verstappen splits them shortly after, so it's a Ferrari 1-3. Uh, bottom five drivers after Q2, again, not a lot of drama today, no crashes. Uh, Sonoda, Joe, Bottas, Magnussen, and Ricardo were out. Uh, and Ricardo uh, may have been able to set a lap time to get into Q3, but it was deleted for track limits. Uh, and Perez uh, qualified only P2 and Q2, so very, very close to that cutoff uh, for getting into Q3. Into Q3 we go. Uh, Russell uh, had a lap time, his lap time deleted for track limits, and your top five drivers after the first runs were Leclerc, Hamilton, Verstappen, Sainz, and Gasly. So the Ferrari is showing really good pace throughout all three sessions. Uh, Mercedes as well looking pretty strong, and Verstappen uh, in the Red Bull looking good, looking like he could be in the fight for pole position, but uh, not looking like the outright fastest car on one lap pace uh, by in an absolute dominant fashion that we've seen at some tracks. Uh, Verstappen then comes on the radio after his first run, saying that he's very angry about uh, very angry about uh, Perez's dirty air at turn 20. And he wasn't blocked by Perez, but it's basically the fact that uh, Perez kind of was too close to him. So when Verstappen went through the corner uh, right after him, uh, the turbulent air coming off of Perez's car, uh, Verstappen was basically drove into that and he basically the aerodynamic balance of the car was negatively affected. But into the final runs we go, uh, Verstappen locks up at the first corner, not a great start to his lap. Uh, so he sets the yellow sector, but was slightly up, up on Leclerc's previous time. Leclerc goes fastest, 134.723, Norris second. Uh, Verstappen then goes fastest by five uh, thousandths of a second, but that lap time was deleted for track limits at turn 19. Uh, very, very close. Um, but you could see that the tire, all four wheels were clearly off the track. And you know, that's exactly what track limits are. I know sometimes it's not fun when, you know, a fastest lap gets deleted, but that's kind of the reality of the sport. Uh, Piastri also got uh, his second run in Q2 uh, basically deleted, which is why he ends up lower down on the grid for Sunday's Grand Prix. So your top five, Leclerc, Norris, Hamilton, uh, Sainz, and Russell. So the Mercedes, uh, third and fifth, Ferrari first and fourth. So taking a look at the grid for Sunday's race, of course we still have qual we'll have sprint qualifying again uh, tomorrow to set the grid for the sprint later that day. So uh, Leclerc on pole, second Norris. I think they're going to be pretty happy with that given uh, wh where they thought they were going into this weekend. 
Hamilton third, fourth signs, fifth Russell, sixth first half, and obviously not happy with that. Uh, as we saw with his fastest lap, had a time that was good enough for pole position, um, even with that mistake in turn one. So uh, it will be interesting to see how they recover. I think, however, the Red Bulls definitely have the pace to rec recover for uh, Sunday. Uh, then the two Alpines, Gasly eighth, uh, seventh, Ocon eighth, uh, decent performance from them. That's about where you would expect. Perez ninth, a uh, bit disappointing there. And Piastri tenth, lap uh, deleted for track limits. Then we got 11th Sonoda, 12th Joe, 13th Bottas, 14th Magnussen, 15th Ricardo. About where you would expect for those drivers. I kind of expected Ricardo to be a little bit off of Sonoda's pace, given that the margins are so tight in qualifying and it's his first race back after his wrist injury. Hulkenberg 16th was a bit of a surprise. I think he I think he got a, yeah, he got his lap deleted for track limits, which is why he ended up uh, so far behind Magnussen there. 17th Alonso, 18th Alwan, 19th Stroll, and 20th Sergeant. Yeah, so definitely one of the big shocks of qualifying and definitely the big one of the big talking points will be the Ashton Martin. So as a result of my three big talking points coming out of qualifying, I think uh, Ashton Martin uh, performance will definitely be one of them. Usually it's just been Stroll, right? But, uh, you know, given the fact that Alonso is qualifying down in 17th, definitely shows that it's not just Stroll, it's the, qual the car being quite poor. Um, I think another thing to look out for will be, similar to Qatar, will be track limits. Uh, quite a few drivers having their lap times deleted, and I think similar to the race in Qatar when we saw countless penalties for track limits, there's a real possibility we'll see the same kind of scenario in Sunday's Grand Prix. Maybe not in the sprint tomorrow, but definitely in the Grand Prix. Uh, and I think final point will be, let's see, what should we do? Oh, I think we have a really nice mixed up grid at the front, so I think that's definitely something to talk about. Uh, mixed up grid. Uh, Verstappen's not starting on pole, and I know as James Hinchcliffe said in the post-race interview, uh, this race has always been run from the front row, so Verstappen's definitely in prime to be in a really good position with, you know, with the inherent pace that we know that the Red Bull has to break that streak. And besides that, it's pretty messed, uh, mixed up grid, so I think, you know, the battle for the uh, even though Verstappen, I think, will be, still be the outright favorite for the win, despite starting six. I think the last two places on the podiums are really going to be up for grabs between basically anyone from Leclerc, I would say, all the way down to Russell in fifth. I don't think Perez and Piastri are really going to be in the fight starting uh, farther back. And the Alpines, I don't think, really have the pace to fight for the podium unless, you know, five or six drivers end up retiring. So uh, there's my review for qualifying. Decent session. Not, not a ton of drama, though. Uh, and we'll see how things go tomorrow in sprint qualifying. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, who do you think will be, now that we have the result for Sunday's grid, uh, who do you think will be uh, the, on the podium on after Sunday's Grand Prix? Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.